name is Meg and I'm here to take you through strength and tone for approximately 30 minutes or so. Um, we're going to start with a quick warm up. Um, you're going to need one of these um, for the class. If you don't have one, it doesn't matter. Some lighter weights and then some heavier weights as well. Please always listen to your body for, and modify as much as you need. Listening into any niggles and taking the lower option if that suits you for today. Um, let's get ready to rock and roll. We're going to start with a warm up. So, just um, no one's needed, let's come and ground down through our feet. So, really pressing the balls of the feet and the heels into the earth. Feet hip distance apart, and the hips are square and knees facing outwards. What we're going to start off with is just a simple squat. When we're sitting down, just down and up. So, weight through the heels. The toes are nice and light. And we're going to be making sure that we're pushing the knees out over the toes. Beautiful. Bottom half squat pulses. Down, pulse. So just starting into our warm up, just feeling through the body. You can be up a little bit higher if you need to. You don't have to be down low. Belly brace. Step the feet together. Step back lunge. Hands can be either on hips, or you're welcome to bring them up nice and tall. You can start off nice and light, doesn't have to be deep into the lunge. Beautiful. So a couple of lunges here, slowing them down. It's opening up through the hip flexors and the groin. Beautiful. Bring the hands down to knees. Nice and steady push-ups. So always taking the option to come into a puppy press if you need. Hands come out to plank. Tuck your toes. Stack your joints. And we're just going to bring the knees in towards. You can go fast or slow. If you want to walk it in, do that. Choose the option that suits you for today. Beautiful. Bring it back up to stand, wide squat. Down, knee to elbow. Cool. So feet a little bit wider this time. And again, just working through that twist in the torso, yeah? Cool. So staying with that wide squat. In eight, seven. Good guys. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the hands up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to take it back down to those mountain climbers. Plant your hands. Up to you if you want to go a little bit quicker this time. In four, three, another round of push-ups. Shake out your wrists, hands wide. Your variation in push-ups. So down and up. So the belly is braced really strong. Chin tucks in slightly. Throw track through the shoulders. Beautiful. Couple more here. Well done. Pull it back. Stretch it out. Alrighty. So... Moving into our second one, we're going to move into our squat track. You can start with no weight or a light weight, completely up to you. You can go heavier through your squat track if you like. I'm going to start with a light weight and then move forward from there. Cool. So holding the weight either here or if you've got two here, it's totally fine. You can also hold it here like a goblet squat. Feet hip distance apart and slowly coming down. Four counts, four, three, two, do that again. Four, three, two, one, press. We're gonna stay with that slow count. Remember, you don't have to use a weight if you don't want to. So really ground down through the heels and press up, nice on spine. Down, two, three, fours, press. Stay with that slow squat. So really take that time under tension as you move through, feel every single moment. Same movement, three counts down, 
one up. Three, two, pause, push. Three, two, pause, push. Beautiful, you guys got it? Keep you guys knees tracking open the whole time. Go, three down, one up, well done. Three, two, one, rise. Three, two, one, more. Alrighty. Bottom halves, four. And then we rise, yeah? So four, three, two, rise. Again, four, three, two, rise. Nice work, guys. Stay with these ones, drop. So sticking with these bottom half pulses, the belly is pressed, yeah? Two and two, slowly down. Down and rise. So weight through those heels, belly on super strong. Beautiful. All right, from here, welcome to grab a heavy weight if you like. Round number two, setting it up, move it wide with feet. One, two, three, pause. Press, really driving through the heels and the ball of your feet. Toes are quite light. Nice work, guys. Get nice and warm in here. Woo! All right, listen up, crew. Three counts down, one up. Three, two, one. Press. Three, two, one. Press. Nice work, guys. One more. Two down, two up, two counts. Press through the heels. Really ground down through your feet. Feel your adductors work, your inner thighs. All right, feel those bottom halves. Get ready, drop down low. Three, two, one, press. Beautiful, guys. So keep that weight through the feet, toes are lifted. And you want to make sure so you've got a really nice long spine. So if you need to, keep it up a little bit. So the in here, totally fine. Everyone will have a different range on their squats. So listen to your body. Take what you need, shake it out when you need one more. Three, two, two down, two up. So slow and press. Nice work, guys. Can you squeeze your adductors, your inner thighs? Feel four, three, two, pause, press, two. Let's give you one more, super slow. Down, two, three, pause, press. Awesome. Nice, feel tall. You can hold that weight. You can add another or you can drop the weight. Last round, let's work through it. Four. Three, a little bit wider into the squat now, and out. So knees are pressing out over the toes, tailbone long. Three, two, pause. So you're just finding your range. Knees are tracking, toes slightly pointing out to the side, and keeping that long spine. If the weight gets too much, drop it down. Three, two, one, press. You should feel your glutes squeezing together when you press up, yeah? So engage your inner thighs. It starts with your feet. Three, two, one, two and two. All right, two more. Last one. Let's roll those bottom half pulses out. Down you go. Three, two, one, rise. Three, two, one. Rise. So you know where to go now. Remember, options to drop the weight, but just keep moving. So taking ourselves out of our comfort zone. We're getting a little bit comfortable being uncomfortable. And this is where our change happens. So stay with me. I'm going to slow it down. Two and two. Smooth. Down. Smooth. Up. You're doing this when nearly done, I promise. So really squeeze the glutes, feel the body work here. Good job, guys. All right, four down, four up. Can you pause for a moment and press? Two, 
three, one more, down, two, three, pause, can we hold it here? Woo! Awesome. All right. Do a little shake. So we're going to move into our deadlifts. Just pausing for one more moment here with our deadlifts. I just want to explain when we do this, we are working a hinge movement. So when we hinge, we stick the torch out. There's a slight bend into the knees. We have a nice flat back. And as we deadlift, the weights are keeping close to the body. The belly is locked on towards the spine. If it's too much of a deadlift, work a hinge. Hands on hips, tush goes back, working a hinge. Also, in this one, we're going to work some wide rows. We'll come down also for some renegade rows. So make sure you have um, a set of weights. Also, keep your lighter ones handy just in case. Let's start with our heavy ones. That was okay for your deadlifts, and let's get ready to roll. All right, setting up your deadlift, shoulders roll up, back and down. Belly is braced, keeping distance apart. Move side down the legs. So belly is super braced, knees soft. We go down for four. Three, two, one. We're going to add on some bent over rows. Each movement. So just a single. So down, squeeze, down and stand. One, two, three, four, one, two. Three, stay with that for triple. We're going to do one more triple row. Knees, squeeze. Stand up, bend your knees, have a shake. Now remember, you have two separate weights there, so use the weight that suits your body today. Roll your shoulders, bend your knees, pick up your weights, moving into a deadlift. Be soft, down for four. One, like you're shaking your legs with the uh, weights. So keep the core engaged by lifting it in towards your back body. Weights through your feet evenly. Trying to overextend when you stand up. And we're not trying to go all the way down to the floor either. Three counts down, one up. Two, one, rise. Three, two, one, rise. Remember that huge movement if you need it? Looks like this. Stay three, one. Three, two, one, rise. Three, two, one, rise. Three, two, one, rise. Beautiful. Four more like that. Three, two, one. Should be feeling this now on the backs of your legs. All right, one more. We're going to set up our one again row. Stand tall, bend your knees. Weights go down. Option one is here. Squeeze down. Elbows stay nice and narrow to the body. You can stay with that or find your toes. Plank position, torso still. Way down, have a stretch back child pose. We're coming back to those renegade rows. Belly lifts in, remember options stay on your knees. Or come to your toes, plank position, find your row, single, single. You can even do this by just simply lifting a hand. There is always options. Keeping the elbow tucked in if you're here. Up, down, up, down. So just showing that option, but keeping the elbows wrapped in towards the body, yeah? Cool. Couple more. In, down. Remember, drop to your knees if you need. All right, take your time, stand up. You're going to need your weights. Roll the shoulders. This time we're going to move into a wide bend of the row. So setting it up, roll the shoulders back. Knees are soft. Down for some single rows. Belly on. 
knees wide, in, stand. So you're looking for a huge movement, nice flat back, elbows go wide. Working our lats, working our hamstrings.
So your hands are spread wide and the shoulders over the wrists. Pull, pull back, hold. Bottom half pulses. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again. Seven, six, five. Remember, option. Puppy press. Two more times. Three, two, one. Again. Last body push ups. Three, two, one. Pull back. All right, this time, hip fly. The weight will go out to the side, capital letter A. Be planted. Weight sat up. Two and two. Smooth. So drawing the capital letter A with your arms. All right, singles here. Down, arms up. Yeah, guys, you got it. So bend that elbow, draw them up, and like that capital A, yeah? So down, up, down, and up. You guys stay on your backs. Go. All right, you ready? Go on, go on. Bottom arms. Down, pulse it out. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Bring it up again. Down. You guys are doing so well. Stay with me. We are so nearly there. Two more sets. Three, two, one. Lie, lie. One more. Two and two. Stay in that apron style. Cool, going really well, keep it smooth. Yeah, singles here. So elbows out to the side, working our pectorals minus. Yeah, so draw it out and squeeze in that space between your armpit and your bra. If you haven't got a bra on guys, then just imagine. All right, drop and hold. All right, push it out, bottom halves. You have four rounds. The three, two, one squeeze again. Chin is tucked in. Ah, right, last two rounds, you got this. Three, two, one. Again, here we go. Three, two, one. Drop and hold. Hold it. Ah. Safely, pull those weights down, well done. Give your arms a little bit of a shake down here, a nice work, whatever you need to do. I'm gonna take you through some lunges next, uh, and we'll do some core work before we move into our triceps and biceps. So, let's get that out of the way. Alrighty. So we're actually gonna start on the floor here. You can use a weight if you want to. You're gonna work into a little bit of core. You don't have to use a weight if you don't want to. It's up to you. Weight stays on the floor if you do. So up and down. Chin stays off chest. You're not using a weight. Your um, fingers can be on your ears. Your choice. Three, two, one. Down, three, two, you are feeling your spine off the floor. All right, up, slowly down. Again, pause, slowly down, last one. Pause, slowly down, lift your feet. All right, we're gonna go single leg extension, looks like this. So, out, together. Now if that's too much, just go toe taps. Down and up. You can even just do this all the way, yeah? Beautiful. All right, so crunch. All right, lose your weight. Rock and roll it up. Setting it up, right foot forward. You can hold on to the weight or not single lunge. Three, two, one, rest. Three. Two, one, press. Wait for the front heel, toe lifted. 
go two and two. That right knee is tracking over the right toe the whole time, yeah? So it looks here. Go wider if you find you're losing your balance. All right, bottom pass. Three, two, one, rise. Make sure you're not plugging your toes into the floor. So your weight's to your front heel. All right, down for four, four, three, two. I know, stay with me. Press. Do that again. Four, three, two, one. Press. Bottom arm pulses. Here we go. Seven. Three, two, one. Press it up again. Bottom arm. You want to stay low. Three, two. Two more rounds, here we go. In three, two, last set, you don't want to roll. Bottom pass. Three, two, one. All right, make your way back down to the floor. Here we go, one, two, down. Remember the option, use that way if you want to. I'll stay here this round. Up, arm down. Chin off chest, feel your spine up. Four, three, two, one, down. Three, two, one, down. Again. Up and hold. Pause, slowly down. Pause, slowly down. All right, one more. All right, bring those feet up. All right, up to you. We're going to reach out, out, together. Now, if you've got a weight, that can go back or you can just use your hands. Remember, option. And you can even drop your head down. Couple more, guys. All right, nice work. Two left. All right, rock and roll. Find your lunge, left foot forward. Two, and up. Last one. Guys are doing really, really well. Again, make sure that you are plugging out of the left heel and you're not digging in with those toes. Three down, one up. Three, two, so you're bending from the back knee. Three, two, one, again. Three, two, one, you can use weights or not, I've just decided to drop mine. Pull, all right, four down, slow. Pause and hold, press, yeah. Then you check in to make sure your front knee is tracking over your toes. So go one if you need to. Bottom arse pulses, here we go. Bottom arse. Woo! Ah, uh, do it again. Down. All right, we've just got two more rounds of this one. Let's finish off our lunges. Go. Down. Stay low through it. Three, two, one more set only, and then we finish in squat. All right, here we go. Three, two, step it in wide squat. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more round. Seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, drop and hold. Well done. Oh, good job. Shake out those legs. Where's that phone gone? Alrighty, how are we doing? So we're going to take it back. We're going to move back down to the floor. We're going to do a little bit of tricep work here um, and some shoulders. So you're going to need some light weight. I'm just going to use some too. My, I just said, look, yesterday my shoulders feel like they're about to fall off. You don't even have to use any weights. So we're going to shoulders, no higher than shoulder height, try to disengage your traps. You don't want to lift here, so out to the side nice and smooth. For our triceps, you'll need one weight, holding on with both hands like that. So coming down to the floor, uh, we're going to alternate between our triceps and our shoulders, being that the two are quite connected as well. They both help each other out. So from here, weight goes up, belly brace. Now press into the sides of the dumbbell. Spin your elbows inwards, so you're looking for this, yeah? When we drop to the back of the head, the elbows are going to stay close and near the ears. Two and two to the head. 
One, two, press up. One, two, press. If you're using heavy weight, just make sure you don't drop it on your hip. Yeah. Belly breaks. Down. All right, drop and hold. Stop. Up. 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 Stop. Three, two, one. Stop. Three, two, one. Again, stop. Three. Listen up, we're going to go to the belly. So down for two. Press over for two. Back over for two. Press up for two. Again. Down for two. Hold it, press pull over. Yeah? Excellent. Hold here. Let's repeat that set. Now, if you need to uh, pause it and do that one again, give it a little try out. Once you've got it, it's nice if you want to remember. So the belly is on really strong here and the elbows are spinning towards each other. Right? The biceps are in close. Drop and stop. Hold. Three. Two. Take your time. Drop. Three. Two. One. And two more. Cool, last one. Let's get that press pull over again. Here we go. Belly button, press to forward, back to belly button, press straight up. So you're keeping the elbows in nice and close. We're going to go two more rounds, then we're going to move into shoulders. Down, press over, back over, press up. One more set. Down, press over. Back over. One more set. Excellent. Rock and roll up. Alright, little weights. So up, one foot forward, up and hold. Here. Three, two, one. Pause. Three. You're on a slight angle. Let us try this. Singles. But they're just staying right here. So with our right. We're trying to keep the traps away from the shoulders. Option not to use any weight. Eyes are down. Nice work, guys. All right, now the next one, you're gonna have an option to either go back to the waist for triceps, or you can do a tricep push-up, your choice. All right, so the tricep push-up, elbows are in, nice and narrow. Option here, so one, two, up and up. Option here. You tuck in the elbows. We're not trying to work so the hips don't go first. Remember, the option is here. Go drop and stop. Pause. Three, two, one. Remember the weight option is there. These are a little bit harder. Go, so drop. Three, two, one. Drop. Three, bottom half pulses. Push back up. Nice one. Again. Drop. Belly is on. I know. Stay with it. Remember, option here. So, puppy press. You pull back through the elbows. But if you've got one more left in you, let's do it. Bottom up pulses. Elbows are spinning in. Woo! Coming up. Find your legs. Alright, shake it out. Nail it up. Alright, shoulders back. Here we go. Up, three, two, one again. Up, three, singles. Here you go. Squeeze. You guys are doing so well. We are so nearly there, yeah? I am sweating. Guys, stay strong. Couple more abs. Let's go. Squeeze. Let's hope there's four left. Four, three, two, and one. You guys are done. Nice work, guys. That was awesome. So, it's going to pause here. I'm just going to take you through two minutes of stretching. I'll leave the music off for this bit. Um, where you are, you can either use a band or you can use a towel. Lie down onto the earth. Bend both knees, pop your towel or band around your foot. Gentle hamstring stretch. So you want to have a soft bend into the knee. You don't want to have any shaking here. 
and gently allow your body to relax back onto the floor. So just feeling the stretch down the back of the leg. Please stretch for longer. I'm, re I'm really big on stretching mobility. I uh, know these videos are only 30 minutes long, so um, yeah, just keep your eye out or do your own stretches. Um, it's so, so important to make sure the body is looked after like a well-oiled car. From here, the leg's just going to go out to the side, very gently stretching the adductors. This knee can actually fold open just a little bit as well. And just take a few deep breaths. Again, if you need longer here, please take it. Bring that knee back into centre, change sides, foot goes through, best way possible. Again, stretch the hamstring. Notice the difference between the left and the right. Again, just come back to the breath. And if you need longer, please stay. Let the leg go out to the side. The other knee fold open. So you're almost a butterfly and the legs almost a butterfly with the knees and with the groin and the hips. Slowly draw that knee back into centre. Rock and roll up. I always like to finish in some cow and cats. Um, I do like the side in cow cats too as well. So always just move and flow through your spine. We tend to forget a lot about the articulation of the spine and movement we can get stuck in very up and down and side to side movement then our body should go in all different directions so really start to move the body through some flow make sure you always combine any weights work as such anything like that uh, with you know some yoga with the opposite it's about finding a balance so make sure you guys also combine yoga with your strength work as well have an amazing day i hope you guys enjoyed that let me know how you got